In today's tutorial, we will take the CV we made in the previous two tutorials, link to both of those are in the description, and we will add the ability to increase and decrease the volume. This uses the code we made in the previous on and off tutorial to add controls for the volume. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so before we can actually add volume controls, we need a way to interact with our TV. Now in the previous tutorial, we actually did make interaction code, but the problem was that that interaction code was specifically for turning the CV on and off. We're just going to have to make a few small adjustments to get that code working for volume. So the first thing we're going to do is update our Blueprint interface to add more functions specifically for volume control. So to do that, we're going to open up our content browser. We're going to go to our TV folder and we're going to go to our BPI is interactable. Double click and open it up. Then in the top left under my blueprint, we're going to click on add, add new function. We're going to rename this function to interact to. And we're also going to go to the top right and under my blueprint, we're going to click on add and add a new function. This is going to be called interact free. Okay, perfect. And now all we have to do is just go to the top left, compile, save, and we can close that down. We don't need that anymore. Now now we have to add bindings for interaction because in the previous tutorial we added bindings to like when you press E on your keyboard it will call interact. We just need to add a few more of those. So we're going to open up a content browser, go back to the content folder, go to first person, go to input, go to actions and we're going to just go ahead right click this IA interact and duplicate it. We're going to rename this to IA interact 2 and what we're going to do is we're also going to duplicate the IA interact 2 we're going to just press enter because it automatically makes it interact free. Awesome. Now that we have both of these IAs, we need to add them to the input mapping context. So we're going to go to input, IMC default, and we're going to just add our new input actions. So in the top left under mappings, we're going to click on plus, and then we're going to click on none over here on our new added mapping, and we're going to change it to IA interact. We're also going to go to top left again, add a new mapping, click on none, and change that to IA interact free. Now, of course, under every single IA interact, there's this keyboard button. If you, of course, you know, like make it bigger. Um, so if we want to bind this, all we have to do is click on this keyboard icon and press like a key. For the lower volume, I'm going to press R. And for the upper volume, I'm going to press T. So those are going to be my bindings. You can go ahead and save and close that because we also don't need that anymore. And we can go ahead and open up our content browser. And now we can go work on our our interaction code quickly. So to do that, we're going to go to our first person folder, blueprint, and open up the BP first person character. And once we're here, all we have to do is we have to take this code we had here, and we just have to duplicate it two more times for the other interacts. Now, of course, in Unreal Engine, if you're going to use code quite a lot over and over, it's a good idea to convert them to a function. So let's quickly do that. We're going to select all of these nodes accept the IA interact and accept the interact node over here. We're going to right click and collapse the function. We're going to rename this function to um, line trace to uh, line trace. Yeah, line trace to objects is a good name. So this will be the code we use to determine where the player is looking and to interact with that object. We're going to move this node closer to the started and we're also going to move the interact uh, node closer to that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the common block a bit smaller and now all we have to do is just make two more interacts so that's pretty easy to do we're going to just right click here type in ia underscore interact you're going to see three interacts we're going to make a ia interact too we're going to right click again type in ia underscore interact we're going to select ia interact three and now all we have to do is we just have to get this line trace to objects so what i'm going to do is in the bottom left under my blueprint i'm going to drag in the line trace to objects connect that to started on the ia interact we're going to control c and control v to copy and paste i'm going to connect the started into the line trace to objects i'm just going to move that a bit closer and now we just need to make the custom interacts so we're going to go to our ia interact 2 code over here drag off the hit actor and type in interacts it's going to be an interact 2 message we're going to select that and then finally on the interact 3 we just drag off the hit actor type in interact 3 and now we have our interact code 
fully sorted, we're just going to select this I interact 2 code over here, press C to comment, and call this interact 2. We're also going to select this bottom one over here, press C to comment, and call it interact 3. And we're going to just move that uh, down here. I'm just going to move this up here, and select this interact code if Unreal Engine will let me. Maybe if I just scale it down and move that perfect, and just scale it up over here. And now we have our interact code fully sorted and ready to go. We can just compile and save. And now we can close the first person character because we don't need it anymore. Now with all our interaction code set up, we can go ahead and work on our TV. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to open up a content browser, go to the content folder, go to TV and open up the BP underscore TV. And now we're just going to look for a nice open spot here. And then of course, because we're using Blueprint interfaces, all we have to do is add the Blueprint interface functions or the event. We can easily do that by going to my Blueprint. Under interfaces, you just want to click to open up the dropdown. You want to right click on Interact 2 and implement event and right click on Interact 3 and implement event. So Interact 2 event is going to reduce the volume and Interact event 3 is going to increase the volume. So how do we actually actually change the volume. Well, if we go to the top left under components and drag in our TV sound and we drag off of that and type in volume, there's going to be this function set volume multiplier. You just want to go ahead and click on that. And we're also going to go ahead and control C and control V to copy that and move that over here to the bottom. We're going to connect the, oh, actually we're not going to do that. We're going to connect the TV sound into the target over here. So the idea behind the volume multiplier is that if the volume multiplier is 1, that means the volume is 100%. But if the volume multiplier is something like 0 0.5, that's 50%. So that's how that works. Let's quickly test our theory by connecting the event intact 2 to the top set volume multiplier and connecting the bottom event intact 3 to the set volume multiplier in the bottom. We're going to set the volume multiplier of the bottom one to 1 one and we're going to leave the top one at zero we can compile and save and now we can go ahead and quickly test our code if i open up my game and press e hey, you, you can hear the volume story. if i press r it's completely mute hey, if i press c the volume's, volume's on or it's completely mute so now we know the controls work we can go ahead and fine tune then so to do that we're going to go back to our bp underscore tv and we're just going to change the volume multiplier by small values every time the button is pressed to do that we're going to have to make a volume variable to save the volume value. So to do that, we're going to go to the bottom left under variables, click on plus. We're going to rename this variable to volume. We're going to go to top right, click on boolean, change the value to float. And now we have a volume control. I'm also going to set the private value to true. And all we have to do now is compile and save. And now we have the volume. Now the default value of the volume should be one because the volume of the TV should default to 100 you can actually change this value to 0 0.5 and then your TV would default to 0 0.5. That's fully your choice. You can do what you want. Okay. And now all we have to do is go to the bottom left under variables, drag in our volume and get our volume. And then all we're going to do is drag off the volume, do a minus. So we subtract the reasons because the interact 2 minus is the volume. And what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the volume by 0 0.1, aka 10%. And we're going to drag off that and do a clamp node so there's going to be this clamp float float node if you click on that this is to make sure that the player can't set the volume extremely high to like 400 or something and then all we have to do is let's just move this tv sound node out a bit to make space then all we have to do is ch take our volume change over here and convert it back into the volume. So to do that, we're going to go to the bottom left under variables, drag in our volume, plug it in here and set the volume. And we'll just plug in this clamp node into the set node and just connect the execution pins together. And then finally, we'll take the output from the set volume node and plug it into the volume multiplier. Now that should work, but now we should make a version of this that works for Interact 3. Now that's pretty simple to do. We're going to drag the set volume multiplier here over to the side to make space. We're going to duplicate all of this code we made over here. So uh, select everything over here, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy. And we're going to go ahead and move it to 
the bottom. We're going to connect the event in tag 3 over there, connect the set volume multiplier over to the set, and connect that to the, vol to, uh, the volume multiplier. Now we can just also move these a bit closer together. And the only change that should happen here is that on intact 3 we shouldn't minus the value, we should add. So to do that, we're going to delete this subtract the volume over here, and we're going to drag off the volume here, type in plus to add uh, 0 0.1. So we made an add node, and here on the bottom we change this to 0 0.1 and connect that into the value of the clamp. And this should work, but I'm going to do just a small bit of cleanup. I'm going to disconnect the TV sound from the top here to the bottom. So I'm going to disconnect there. I'm going to go to the top left on the component, drag in a new TV sound and connect that into the target self. Then I'm going to move this event interact code here, all this over here, the event interact free code, move that over a bit to the bottom. I'm going to select the event interact 2 code and I'm just going to press C and I'm going to comment this. I'm going to call this in uh, this actually decrease volume okay and we're going to just move this a bit closer to the code over here maybe just a bit space there that's pretty nice we're going to take all this event intact free code select all that press c to comment we're going to call this increase volume so vol if i can spell volume awesome so that's increase volume just move that over here and our code is fully sorted and ready to go so let's go ahead and test it we're going to compile save and we're going to hit play and if I press E, the TV hey, turns on on 100 volume, but if I press R, I reduce the volume to zero. If I press T, I increase the volume, and so I can adjust the volume to my liking. I can do what I want. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe, hit like if you liked the video, hit dislike if you didn't, and see you guys in the next one. Good night, everybody.